Golden Swap. For those yes. of you that don't know, Golden Swap is when a title change happens on free TV, whether it's Raw, SmackDown, whatever New Japan show is called, Ring of Honor, Dynamite, NXT, Rampage, Rage in a Cage, Evolution, whatever, too. This one's a little bit special, hating the crate, <laughs> the Punjabi prison match. Just kidding. Basketballs don't hold grudges. Yeah, just remember that, kids. If you, if you know it's Batista's best promo. This one's a little bit different because it's actually happened on a pay-per-view, but we didn't really talk about historic X over for New Japan because a lot of guys we right. didn't really know about, too. But this one match happened, actually, it was announced after our live show. Shout out to Kyrie Sane, who's still wrestling, doing really well. Yeah. His first ever IWGP Women's Champion. She defeated uh, Mayu Iwinati at Historic X Over. I think I got the name right. To become the inaugural champion. I, listen, I proud proud you, proud you, proud you. I don't think I nailed it. But <laughs> it's, so the first thing I will say, first of all, is awesome. It's a good first champion, by the way. Makes a lot yeah. of sense to, to yeah. you know legitimize the belt to have a name like Kyrie Jane is very popular in the U.S. and also obviously well-known in Japan, too. Mm-hmm. My only thing is it took so long for IWGP to have a women's belt. And yeah. Like, like women, I mean women's right they've had stardom i think it's called right the women's yeah i believe so motion but for new japan now have a women's division this is big for them i'm yeah, really looking forward massive. to seeing what we can do here yeah no so am i uh like, like i said in our group chat when when burt pointed it out because i had seen it but i was like okay it's just a, a it's a change on that happened on a pay-per-view that we didn't talk about i'm just gonna leave it but then he pointed out it's the first one and i'm like it's the fr- how is it the first one and they never really made a big announcement about it like we would have no. def- talked about it last week if they were like talking like more about like we didn't even know yeah right like last right last week it would have been at least highlighted like even if we weren't going to talk about the card like oh by the way they're having their match for the first ever women's champion for the promotion so yeah no i I think Kyrie's a great pick because globally known Mm -hmm. um my question is this do you think it has anything to do with them wanting to keep her I would probably assume that's the case. You know case. what I mean? Little rumblings of her maybe going back to WWE, going to NXT or something too. She had did she did some um, global ambassador work, I believe it was yes. her title, when she was there after she left uh, the in-ring action too, to go yes. back over to Japan, whatever. I think the contract expired, obviously. That's why she's champion now too. But it's probably a reason. That's probably one of the reasons why. You've seen that with New Japan too, that like even going to AW or Ring of Honor, like they want to put the belt on someone. But, hey, you know what? Just stay a little bit too, but yeah, 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 I agree with you. But regardless, I think this is like the perfect first chance. You can't, yes, there's no, I don't think there's any other argument here, too. Now, yes. go ahead. I was gonna say, you may continue because I have to look this up, but I don't even know who's on their women's roster. I think it's a, it's literally like brand new, like it literally you kind of just started up, literally, I think like a couple weeks ago, I think to build it up, too. But this is kind of now starting up the women's uh division, too, which again, it's awesome. New Japan's been putting on some excellent stuff. I can only imagine what they do with the women's division. Hey, AW, take some notes here, right? I mean, literally yeah. take some notes. Listen, I mean, uh, we can do agree. I think WWE's women's division, probably the top tier, I would say. Uh, maybe you can make an argument for Impact, too. Impact kind of started it all, too. But then Impact, WWE, NXT, like the tier. New Japan could easily take over Ring of Honor and AW, I think, if they kind of start the momentum like this, too, which is perfect. I think this is like, literally that meme is perfect. 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 Everything down to the last bit of detail. Minute detail. Perfect. And there's really no more historic to historical stuff about the belt because again, the belt just started. So there's really nothing right. more. And as far as like how long she'll hold the belt for, I feel like she'll probably hold it's the first champion. I think New Japan's smart. She's gonna hold on to the belt for a couple of months, I feel like too. It's At not least. gonna be like, it's not gonna be now. I don't know if it's gonna be a Jade Cargill undefeated. Now you can do a Jade Cargill undefeated streak with her because she's more legitimized, I think. But New Japan I don't think won't do that necessarily. Oh, don't worry. We'll get to that. <laughs> yeah. So, Gentle, he commented, by the way, War Games. Little, well, we need Albert here. I can't do it without Albert because Albert does it perfect. Yeah, I feel I, – I actually, at this point, he's such he's so much of the War Games guy for I the can't, show. I, I feel like I shouldn't do it. I don't want to disrespect I could try, him. but yeah, exactly. War you games. can hear it. You uh, but can hear Gentle, it in your head. It makes sense considering this is supposed to be the and New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong thing. She's the most notable star in America from stardom. Yeah, uh, this, uh, Gentle, I couldn't agree more. I feel like yes. this, this made the most sense, too. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't. I think more over AEW, they will build this roster more and more. They'll give l- the female talent legitimate chance to be like, oh, you know what? She could be Kari for the championship. There will be more. And we'll mm-hmm. probably get more recognizable names, I feel like, too. Mm-hmm. You know, Mike, I just thought of this, too. What if Ruby Soho ever goes to Japan? As long as she wins a belt, I just want. 
I know, I, but I'm just saying you can't like. No, you, it would be it would work. Stars, yeah. maybe like a Ruby Soho or something. Why yeah. you bring him over there too. What Tessa? You know what? We had to name has we haven't it, heard in a while. Has it been long enough? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not <laughs> sure about it. To be honest, too, depends. It depends. depends. If you if it's a good way for her to come back, if she wants yeah. to, I feel like Japan would make sense. I feel like too. Yes. Out of all of them right now, at least kind of go overseas too. Brian here comments, uh, good to see you, boys. Brian, it's good to see you commenting. Good really to see does. you, Thanks. Brian. But day one, the day one supporter, old podcast episode, by the way, too. Which, by the way, you and you and I might have to join an episode very soon. I mean, I mean, we might, we might, we might. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just saying. Could, would you say that Brian's been down since? You know what? I'm going to give you. <laughs> yeah, he has been. He's down day, since day one-ish. 